Alright, welcome back to Dragsters and Transmissions YouTube channel. Uh, this is rare for me, uh, for the shop. I have a 66 Chevy 2 that just came in today for repairs. As well as a 66 Chevy El Camino that's in for uh, pretty much a uh, mechanical restoration. Wiring and... Uh, the wiring harness, uh, engine, transmission, exhaust, that type of thing. I know it's got Trans Am wheels on it, but anyway, that's what was on it when the owner bought it. So that's what it is. So it's rare that I have two 66s in here at the same time. It's very unique. Anyway, I'm just going to focus on this one today for this video. Like I said, it's a 66 Chevy 2. Got a real pretty paint job on it. I like that shade of blue. Um, uh, the owner brought it to me a little while ago or uh, earlier today and he came in with a list of issues that it's having that he had dropped off here last week uh, let me see things to be fixed on the 66 Chevy 2 gas gauge Gear shifter, tune card, check trans gaskets, oil leaks out over winter. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll get to those things eventually. Uh, first thing I noticed was the gas smells like varnish. So the car is running really rough. And... Uh, <clears throat> So, I've got to get with the owner and see what's up with that. And then, uh, I went to try to start it earlier. It started fine. But, uh, a little bit sometime after that, I went to start it. And, that's all it does now. Uh, just clicks. Uh... I did notice the uh, electric choke was uh, wired to a constant hot right here. So I disconnected that and just put a piece of tape on it for now. Because I'm just getting started on this car. Uh, whew, God, that gas stinks. Phew. So he had the electrical harness, or excuse me, wiring harness replaced in this car some years ago. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just getting started on this thing. I don't know. I had to rearrange the vacuum hoses for the distributor vacuum advance and the transmission vacuum modulator. They had them crisscrossed here on the carburetor. And the car does have transmission issues. He did tell me that. Uh, the fluid is burnt, so I'm probably going to have to pull the transmission out, rebuild it, and, uh, but we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm just getting into this project, you know, so, but the reason the thing won't kick over, I believe, is because the exhaust pipe, you probably can't see it on camera, but the exhaust pipe is right there a little dirty aluminum looking pipe and then right there beside it is the starter so i think we got a heat soak issue uh this is an older gentleman so he's probably going to want to stay with those exhaust manifolds so who knows what we're getting into with this thing but i'm definitely going to disconnect the battery for the night because uh uh, it's hot. It's very hot here. It says the temperature is 87 degrees outside, but I feel like it's more in the 90s. Humidity is only su supposedly only 70%, but it feels like 100%. I don't even know what the dis density altitude is. I haven't even looked, but I know it's hot and it's wet. I got that big fan right there that I used to uh when i have cars running to blow the heat out you know 
blow cool air through the radiator and everything. Well, when I first started it up today, if you look, you can see how wet the floor is here. And uh, I had it sitting here blowing air in and the floor just got soaking wet with moisture. So, anyway, all right, just a video I think is pretty neat because I got two 66 Chevys in the shop today. And it's looking like they're both going to be here for a while. Uh, yeah, so, anyway, so tomorrow's another day. I'm going to get the disconnected this battery. And, uh, um, tomorrow I'll start checking everything out. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Uh, not really a tutorial video or how to whatever whatever you want to call it not really just just show you what's going on uh hadn't posted in a couple weeks so here we are all right well if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share it leave a comment below if you haven't done so subscribe to the channel click that little notification bell and click all and uh that way you'll be notified of future videos I'm probably going to do more videos on this 66 Chevy 2 and maybe the El Camino as I go. Uh, but other jobs do, you know, have to get done in between. So, uh, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.